Shane Steve, what's he got to do? He must have walked under a ladder or something. Things haven't gone for him this week, and they didn't really last year, but there he goes, number one on the relentless Suzuki, heads off down Bray Hill. And these guys, they have had a practice this morning on the 600s, really, but it's still quite daunting setting off down Bray Hill. Number two, John McGuinness. Yeah, and it is, actually, and these bikes are bigger. These are about 160, 170 brake horsepower. Some of the BMWs are actually more than that, 185, 190 brake horsepower. Fast bikes. Yeah, they are. The Kawasaki, plenty of power, plenty of power there from Ian Locker if he gets on. But here he is, Hutchie, the man that won the race this morning. What's he going to do? He's going to take some beating. Yeah, he certainly is. He's not been beaten this week, Steve. No, five TTs to his name now, and he is front wheel up in the air, straight underneath the bridge there, top of the, the Bray Hill traffic lights, and daunting drop down here. Absolutely pinned all the way through. Yeah, and this is the first lap. They will be taking it slightly steadier. Brand new tyres, everything's cold, just easing their way in. Over I goes Lee. Lovely. Bruce Hansi now being caught by number two, John McGuinness. Anstey not having a good time of things. He's things not. are not going at all well. Up towards uh, Ramsey here we are, hurtling through there. That was Milne Town Cottage. Up towards Schoolhouse Corner, Bruce Anstey. And oh, there goes uh, the, the That's John, John McGuinness. Yeah, John yep. McGuinness nips through there. Yep. That was uh, fairly inevitable. He was right behind him. He caught up 10 seconds from the start on uh, Bruce Anstey. We're with Hutchinson now. And that should be Ian Locker in front. It is on the Black Horse Kawasaki through the same corner. That's Schoolhouse, and they're running towards Parliament Square now. It's uh, going to be a duel on the brakes, and Hutchinson down the inside on the bumpy bit on the Paget Honda there. Hutchinson is in third place at this time. It's still right up the front. Ryan Farquhar is deemed to be the fastest man on this first half of this track. Here we are coming up to the gooseneck now, and that will be John McGuinness, isn't it? Yep, and I think that looks like John McGuinness leads on the road from uh, Bruce Anstey, number 12, and this man, Ryan Farquhar, is flying. Yep, that Kawasaki of Ryan Farquhar really singing out now. Butch is smooth as ever. He's now uh, got past Ian Locker. You'll see Ian Locker on the, uh, on the Kawasaki. We saw him get past into Ramsey, and... Uh, and Hutchinson on his way up towards Hillwood's Rise. Yeah, again, up to the highest part of the circuit. Uh, conditions, like you said earlier on, absolutely perfect. 1,400 foot up in the air as they go through here. It's the right and then the left at Brandywell. Yep. We're back. This is uh, Dan Stewart uh, around the bungalow. Oh! Whoa. What was that? Massive. He... That was on the grippy part of the track. That was the shell grip there up at the bungalow there. It was Dan Stewart having a oh. big moment. Let's have a look at this. Goes in, opens the throttle. Look at that. See the tarmac coming out the back onto the tarmac there. <laughs> big, big moment for Dan Stewart there. Foot off the foot rest and everything else for Dan Stewart. That's not good news for him. He's on the Wilcox Consulting Honda. So, at the end of lap one, you can see Farquhar has nearly a seven-second lead over Michael Dunlop, Hutchinson third, Cummins, Keith Amore and John McGuinness in six. We look at Ryan Farquhar through Ginger Hall, number 12, that Kawasaki looks to be handling pretty good as well, nice and smooth through there. And it is really bumpy through there, Steve, as you know, and, and it does look to be very, very stable. From the helicopter, okay. look how he's trying, front wheel right up in the air in fourth gear. Yep, this is McGinnis now being caught by his teammate Ian Hutchinson. Hutchie wants to lead on the road. Hutchie's a man who's really, really at home, on his own, just doing his own thing. This is Michael Rutter riding with him up the mountain. Again, you can see all the flies on there. He's not a chance to take that tear off on. And look at this, number 10, Connor Cummins on Cameron Donald. He's right on his back wheel into the veranda. Oh, and he's round him. That was very impressive. It was, and uh, we're riding now with Ian Hutchinson. And now McGuinness can't be too far in front. There he goes. So now Hutchinson leads on the road into Hillbury. That's just after two laps. At the end of the second lap, he's in front on the road. And here's the man that's leading, though. Still number 12, Ryan Farquhar. That big Kawasaki is working well. But Bruce Ansi is out. Bruce Ansi. Well, we knew there was a problem right at the beginning, James. Yep, the bike not been running properly. Been really slow on the straights, and that's uh, his race done. What a disaster of a week. Yeah, it really is. But this is looking so good for number 12, Ryan Farquhar on the MSS Colchester Kawasaki. In fact, this is his own one, I think. But look at the focus on his eyes. Absolutely. That's the positions at the end of lap two of four. And you can see that Ryan Farquhar has an 8.8 .8 second lead. Number four comes in. That is Hutchinson. He is in second place. John McGuinness behind him as they come in for these pit stops. His fuel goes in. Visors changing as quick as you can. Clean that screen. This is the leader. 
Ryan Farquhar, this is critical, Steve. Yeah, it really is. And there is uh, Michael Dunlop in. So he's in for his stock. Connor Cummings gets going. Speed limit, remember, 60 kilometres now until you're clear. And there's frustration there from Michael Dunlop. Yep. That's a tyre problem. They've got to change the wheel, and you know how awkward this is. Yeah, this is a nightmare. These aren't the uh, superbike machines with all the stuff fixed in and made for quick wheel changes. The terrible things, these are spaces everywhere. Farquhar lost eight seconds there, James. So yep. look at, oh, it's a nightmare for Michael Dunlop, but Farquhar's lost the lead that he had. Hutchinson will be about the same time. Michael Dunlop, what is going on? He's lost a huge amount of time. Yep, drops him to 11th after the pit stop. That's, a, that's tragic for Michael Dunlop. Ian Hutchinson on board, and Hutchie is uh, really getting going now, but it's going to be so close. We've got two laps to do it, but through Parliament Square, climbing up towards Mayhill. Hutchinson, you can see the front wheel, that front wheel of that fire blade up in the air, then it's banged back down again, then it's bumpy up Mayhill. It is really, really bumpy. They're heading up towards Ramsey Hairpin now. Uh, this is uh, Ryan Farquhar now past Cat Guy Martin. This is the Ginger Hall section. Up the mountain now, we're with Ian Hutchinson. He's got the road to himself. The only people now, Ian, will have to pass a real back markers. You know, people who are quite a lot slower than him, not people doing nearly the same time. And sometimes it's the slow lads who are actually easier to get past. Absolutely, because you catch them so quickly and you're uh, definitely fast around the corners. You're absolutely right. You get someone that's nearly your speed, it's very difficult to pass them, even though it's a long circuit or the long course that we've got here. Trying to get past someone on some of the sections is really difficult. Connor Cummings, look at him, buried in there, at six foot four inches, and he's got everything tucked in. There it is at the end, and it is 5.54 seconds the lead at the moment. Cummins there in third, McGuinness fourth, Martin and Amor very close together in fifth and sixth. Yeah, we thought Farquhar was flying, he's picked that five seconds back up. They were together when they came out of the pits, remember? This is uh, John McGuinness steadily, steadily pulling. He's back into fourth place, and this is a good result on these bikes for John McGuinness. Yeah, Guy Martin, number eight, he's uh, still going quite nicely through there, that retro-looking bike. Yeah, very impressive. So, Ryan Parker, what can he do? Who's going to do this? There's very little in it with one lap remaining, and it's whether or not uh, Farquhar can keep up with Hutchins or Hutchins can pull that gap out, but it's so close through Kirk Michael now. Yep, five seconds the gap, but Hutchie is on a real charge now. He's got the mountain to do it, and that's the place he's been fast all week, James. Yeah, that is, he loves the mountain. You can see Stella Maris in the background, round the hairpin, up towards the waterworks. 13 miles of this course to go. And here it is, look at the split. So Hutchinson oh. has really got on it. He's got it down to 1.82 seconds. And Hutchinson really, now watch the style of this man. He'll be using up all the road, wringing the neck of that Paget Honda. And then we have to wait. Hutchie will have to wait to see who's going to win this race. There is the clock to stop at the end of four laps. Who is it going to be? Hutchinson or Farquhar? Kawasaki or Honda? We wait till the clock stops and it's going to be very, very close. It's going to be Hutchie. It is. It is Hutchie. Fair play to Ryan, you know, he must have ridden well, like, I was trying. <laughs>